welcome to my car. Um, I am driving hands-free, so I'm not holding the phone while I'm driving, just so you know. Disclaimer, uh, I had a request a while back after I did a video talking about learning how to drive to do a video talking about driving tips. And so this video is going to just talk about some driving tips. And the number one driving tip would be to really learn how to use your mirrors and how to constantly uh, be checking your mirrors and scanning your surroundings. This is probably the hardest uh, part of driving. When I first started driving, I was always staring directly at the car right in front of me. I wasn't looking further ahead to the other cars in front of that car that will make the car in front of me stop. It has to stop suddenly. Um, and I also didn't really know how to use my mirrors very well. So using your mirrors would be look at the road, look at one mirror, look back at the road, look at the next mirror, look at the road, look at your rear view mirror, back at the road. And then always like looking at close, yes, it's important, the cars were close to your important, but also looking further down the road for the things that aren't in like here yet that you're gonna have to deal with because the, the cars stop all the way over there down the road everyone else is gonna stop and you're gonna have to stop too so it's better not to slam on your brakes because if you slam on your brakes the people behind you may or may not be paying attention they may slam on your brakes and that's just never a good scenario um, so really focusing on the road and paying really close attention to your surroundings and where the other cars around you are at all times, knowing if you have, like this is open right now, I know this is open, but knowing when it's open and like there should be an alarm that goes off in your head the minute someone starts to move into this like zone here uh, and you should be like, oh, it's not clear anymore. Like I always know where if I have to bail because someone does something stupid and I can't stop in time, where my exit strategy is right now, my exit strategy is that way because there's a truck here and it would be the shoulder. Uh, so always have an edging strategy, exit strategy, that's kind of good too. Uh, but really the mirrors, back to the mirrors because that was the purpose of this entire video. And I'm sorry, I just was my camera shaking because of my uh, sticky mouth thing, sorry. I hope you can tolerate the shaking. Um, the mirrors, your side view mirrors, almost everybody adjusts them wrong and David taught me how to adjust my side view mirrors and it's been life changing don't need to have your side view mirrors so close inward that you can see the back corner of your car. It's really not useful to be able to see the back part of your car while you're driving because the back part of your car is always attached to your car. You don't really need to know where that is. What you do need to be able to see is the lanes of traffic next to you and pretty much specifically anything that's like from here back that you can't see that's what your mirrors are supposed to get you shouldn't actually have to like turn all the way around to see beside you or behind you that's what those side view mirrors are for if you adjust them out further like what I like to do is I'll park in my neighborhood where there's no traffic like next to the cars that park on the street and I will park um, just like next to the cars on the street and adjust my mirrors so that I can see them if they are kind of behind this point of view for me and all the way right right now my mirror I can see all the way into the far lane of traffic with my mirror behind me and to my side same thing goes for this side here if I had two lanes of traffic instead of one I could see all the way across I can see all the way from one lane and then also all the way into the shoulder in this uh, over here so I guess that's the other really important tip is to adjust your mirrors correctly um, so that they're actually useful because when you have a blind spot it's like everyone's like oh you have a blind spot uh, not if you set your mirrors up right not in a car anyway uh, maybe if you drive a bus or a big truck that might be different um, but anyway that's uh, my driving tips that I have right now because um, yeah I guess those are just the most important things I can think of to share with you guys about driving anyway drive safe be careful pay attention your eyes on the road and I will talk to you next time. Bye!